So far in my travels around the western fjords, this is the first time in this area here, here and back to Holmovic to here, this is the first time I've seen along the shore logs, wood. Remember now, most lumber this size is not indigenous to Iceland. So where it comes from is a good question. Notice this piece has some fitting on it, probably for an electric fence somewhere. <clears throat> but the second thing I've noticed is that that's being harvested now consistently and piled on the beach in piles like this, which is only practical and you can get a resource that floats to you. What I don't know is what international current brings that from which countries. And notice that this one was sawn before it was eroded away decades ago. <clears throat> it was wasted when it was because like he did in the United States and Canada, they cut him high because they didn't want to mess around with the differences in thickness there. They won't do that today. And if they do, they go in and harvest this remaining stump for something. Somewhere up there was Homovec. We've traveled all along this body of water here and in part over there on that side too. There's that island. This is the road between the two fjords in route south on 68 and 1. This is part of the ring road. And we go by another fjord down here and then all the way down as far as we can see beyond probably and then start cutting across the bottom of that long fjord. Off in the distance I think you can see some of the central highlands. Looking up the long fjord that I'm going to pass along the south end of and enter into North Iceland. I just thought I'd shoot back the way we've come. I think earlier today we were up around that headland up there on the right, now in the upper right hand corner. In addition to the constant presence of mountains of various sizes and drama is the constant overwhelming amount of water. Falls, almost like six little falls in one, and then this tumbles into the pool. This is the downstream run. It pools again right here and drops off through another little falls and then down through some cascades. You can see what a good sized canyon it's carved out over time.
This name springs from the legislative assemblies held here during the Commonwealth period, 930 to 1264. The original church was founded in 1133 and existed until the Reformation in 1550. The present stone church is dedicated, was dedicated in 1877. It contains a 15th century alabaster altarpiece from Nottingham. The original church was built because the bishop at the time said that if God would relieve the famine, he would build a church and a farm here. And of course, since all things change, the famine ended and he built the church because he had bribed God into doing that. Either that or he thought God was so inattentive that he needed to be cajoled into it. remote to our way of thinking, mine, but to these people it was just an extension of civilization at the time, I suspect. How they got here, the first people in 900s, uh, I don't know what motivated them. Buried 1998, I think the little bird is poignant how it sits there and brass and just peers down at the words below. And then those who could only afford the simplest of wood headstones in one of those basalt columns that is on the <clears throat> coat of arms for Reykjavik here used as a tombstone. And even more simple headstones. I haven't seen actual flat stones used like this before. Anywhere. It's ex except somewhere, and I can't remember at the moment where it was, whether it was the United States or elsewhere, that flat stones were left not over grave sites, but in one particular place. And it may have been in uh, Arizona, where Judy Legg goes in the mountains. And they were used uh, to leave mementos. They would put sayings on there, you know, Dad, we miss you, that kind of thing just in these one place where traditionally people would do that. It appears that what may have happened here is either archaeologists or the people who are members of the church, knowing who was underneath these stones, created metal plaques and put those plaques on the stones. Gestur spent 21 years without Kristen. My guess is they were cremated, and that's why it's just a small plot with that stone. I've never seen stones like this used as gravestones. I wonder if the people who lie under them had any uh, contribution in selecting the stones. There are always a few who think they need to stand out, even in this context where it absolutely means nothing anymore. They don't appear to be that old. Maybe 1937 is the oldest I think I've seen. 1921. Some of these just maybe nobody knows who's underneath these stones. And here a very novel one. I wonder how long that will last. How long the glass will survive the elements. Never seen this done either. Location, location, location. I wonder if you pay more for the location. As I peer in the windows, it's a simple church, but with a very beautiful pulpit. This is a good sturdy latch. This lifts up, slides underneath, that drops down like that, and then you can put a lock in here. Pretty secure.